Hey everyone, have you ever felt like a fraud in your success? No matter what you achieve, it just doesn't feel like it's yours. Stick around because I'm sharing my journey uh, through those feelings and how I overcame them. Today we're diving into a topic many of us have struggled with, imposter syndrome, that nagging feeling that you're not as competent or talented as others think you are and that any success you achieve is just luck or a fluke. It affects people from all walks of life, from students and professionals to artists and entrepreneurs. Despite our achievements, many of us wait to be discovered as frauds. In this video, we'll explore imposter syndrome and why it's so prevalent in our society and how we can start overcoming it together. So if you've ever felt like you don't deserve your success, stick around, this one's for you. Understanding imposter syndrome is essential. When you know what it is, you can start to overcome it. Learning to accept yourself is the first step towards breaking free from this mindset. When I was younger, I had a job serving my country and put my heart and soul into it, but despite my dedication, I felt like I didn't belong. I was going through the motions, feeling lost and disconnected from my life. Not long after getting married, I became a father. I was you know, determined to be a better dad and a better man than my father had been. I wanted to keep my family together, something I didn't experience as a child, but I also felt like I was following the same path as everyone else, especially coming from a low-income family. I desperately wanted to break free from my hometown to see the world and prove to everyone that I could succeed. That town felt like it was holding me back. People doubted my ability to succeed uh, in marriage and to um, leave that place behind, and I was determined to prove them wrong. I was constantly trying to meet other people's expectations rather than focusing on what made me happy. One thing I've always loved is making people laugh and bringing smiles to their faces. Creating this channel and watching it grow has been incredible, but it didn't feel like an accomplishment for a long time because I was so focused on what I thought I should be achieving. I felt like an imposter. I didn't deserve the happiness I was giving others because I hadn't experienced it myself. But over time, I've come to realize that success isn't about meeting other people's expectations. It's about finding what makes you happy and sharing that joy with others. So thank you for being here and for supporting me. You've helped me find my way, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Society plays a big role in fostering imposter syndrome. We are bombarded with ideals of success. Social media shows us perfect lives, making us feel inadequate and uh, growing up. I felt pressured to meet these expectations. I believe that success meant fitting into a certain mold. This made it hard to embrace my unique path. The pressure to to conform was was immense. I worried about what others thought of me. You know, this constant need for validation was exhausting and unsustainable. My turning point came during a conversation with a mentor. He told me that everyone feels like a fraud sometimes. Uh, this was a revelation. It made me realize I wasn't alone. I started to see that my achievements were real. They weren't accidents. Accepting this truth was a uh, first step towards overcoming imposter syndrome. This realization led to growth. I, I began to challenge my negative thoughts. I started to believe in my abilities. Slowly, I learned to trust myself. Embracing vulnerability was crucial in my journey. It meant accepting my imperfections and being open about my struggles. Vulnerability allowed me to connect with others and made me realize that everyone has their own battles. Sharing my story helped me heal and grow. Being vulnerable took, took courage. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. It, it made me um, stronger and more resilient. Uh, it taught me that it's okay to be imperfect. Mental health is a key factor in overcoming imposter syndrome. It's important to take care of your mind. Therapy and counseling can be very helpful. I sought help from a therapist. This was a turning point in my journey. It helped me understand my feelings and work through them. Prioritizing mental health made a big difference. It gave me the tools to cope with self-doubt, 
Uh, it taught me to be kinder to myself. Self-acceptance is a continuous journey. It's about being gentle with yourself. It's about celebrating your achievements, no matter how small. One step I took was practicing self-compassion. I started to treat myself with the same kindness I showed others. This made a big difference in how I viewed myself. Another step was setting realistic goals. I stopped comparing myself to others. I focused on my own progress. This helped me build confidence and self-worth. Authenticity is about being true to yourself. It's about embracing your quirks and uniqueness. It's about living a life that aligns with your values. I learned to stop hiding my true self. I started to speak my truth. This made me feel more confident and empowered, being authentic, attracted, genuine connections. It made my relationships more meaningful. It showed me that I didn't need to fit into a mold to be successful. Breaking free from imposter syndrome is possible. It's about taking small steps towards self-acceptance. It's about being kind to yourself and seeking help when needed. Remember that you are not alone. Everyone has moments of doubt. Embrace your journey and celebrate your progress. You are worthy of your success. Believe in yourself and your abilities. Embrace your unique path. You have the power to overcome imposter syndrome and live authentically.